Hi all, and welcome back to some EU4. We're playing as Muscovy, currently beating up on our traditional punching bad, Yorkin, who we've been beating up a lot recently. Mostly just trying to grab as much of their territory as possible. Um, it's kind of about that time where you're like, well, okay, where do we go? Um, you can go there. Pop forward, so can you go there? Yeah. Um, there's very little troops opposing us. There's 26 cav. Okay, then. Um, we've already pieced out all the... Most of the people besides Nepal. Because I just can't get to Nepal at the moment, so... That's why it hasn't happened. States want more control of provinces. Who? The Boyers. I actually do not mind giving the Boyers more territory in general, because it helps our manpower. At least some. And in fact, let's go find one of the decent manpower places here. You... There you go. I can't do military points, because I need to do tech. Make sure we stay ahead. Have to stay ahead so we can expand, which is the other way we're getting manpower. So many options, so many things to do. All right, you do that. Can you go siege that for me, please? Thank you. I don't know how much territory we actually want to absorb here. Um, those are... Um, areas we can't actually sit on, if I recall correctly. You come over. All right, you know what? We're at 84%. This is probably enough here. We're going to take you, definitely all of you. Do we just like chunk off edges of it and then more rep and money? 529 is a ton, though. Hmm. That's actually an interesting question. Yeah, 200 right there. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just chunk a few things, because we don't really have the points to core them yet. So that is probably better for us. Cost less, which is annoying. Can I do anything else? Release stations. Let's see here. Release Delhi. Yeah, let's have you release Afghanistan. That seems fine. All your money and war reps. All right. Good enough. All right, so we just took a ton of territory, which we're going to have to core. Let's make sure we destroy this building. You can go up there. Come over here. get the things that take a while, because I'm going to core in a second here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Almost all the cores. We do have a decent amount of overextension, which full means I fully expect to get some rebellion issues going on here. Um, one of the things we are going to do is raise autonomy, which hurts, hurts us short term for main power, but is fine otherwise. And reduces unrest, which is good. Now we probably have a little bit of a pause before we get to our next one, because we need to absorb. We took, absorbed a lot of Persia. The, the next one is going to be Ardalan here. Um, just easy answer to that. Um, let's see here. Still making money. That's good. We have to reinforce still. Tech-wise, we are. We need to. We need to do tech. <laughs> our points are never, never what we need. Um, it feels like. The extra diplomatic relationship is fine. Should really integrate one of them at some point here. Lose a ton of ducats. I'm actually going to do this. I don't like it. The corruption is painful, but um, it's fine. We're actually going to 
do that, try to reduce corruption as much as possible. Um, and we gain stability, which is awesome. Although if I had known I was gonna gain stability, I might have taken the stability hit. Um, let's build our manpower buildings up here somewhere where it's useful. Hmm. 281, 374. Oh, there's a 499. Whoops. Um, we are at, what, 356? So we are growing, but I am I'm panicking about this here, I have to admit. We'll see. We'll see. We can't build anything more that gives us manpower, right? It's just these two. Okay. Hungary is getting beat up by someone. Spain. I don't care about Montenegro at all. So they're, they're far away and not really someone I'm worried about. You, Tarvistan, let's just go about... Oh, it's Diplo points. Mm. You're big, though. Let's, let's get you annexed. <coughs> you have to excuse me. Apparently this morning I've got a cough. Don't know where that's coming from, but we'll get rid of it soon enough. So I just need 61 points to do that. Persian separatists. Oh, I do need to get... Okay, we get culture conversions going, which is probably... I mean, it's good for us, right? It's going to raise this number, but it's also slow. At some point, I'm going to have to stop tech. I'm going to, like, literally just have to use all my points to try to raise that number up, which is a scary thought in my mind. You are independently guaranteed by Yargund. Okay, we've got as much of that going on as possible. I should really grab Oriot here. Can I? Um, probably. Diplomacy, declare war. They have a 9k stack. I'm not too worried about that. Let's give you a leader just to make it a little bit nicer. Let's keep on converting things while we can. We're back under. There's still more than a page now, so we have to... We took a lot of territory. It's part of the problem. Um, okay. Let's detach you. Um, do that. That seems fine. Can't core you. Oh, I can't core you. Um, I put a missionary there. Of course I did. Really? I mean, it's fine. It's just annoying. Oh, yeah, pretend to rebels. Okay, let's get you. Or are you going to deal with them? You're probably going to deal with them. Well, you might be going to the... Let's bring you over here somewhere. Oh, God. The pretend rebels are going to go after my siege unit. You're going to win that? You are going to win that. Okay. So that was scarier than it needed to be. Um, but let's go to where the rebels are. Oop, oop, get in there, please. And take a leader. Even if it's a terrible one. Please win that fight. They don't even need you there, apparently. Good. Just in case. Let's send you here. How to move quicker, guys. Come on. Yeah, you can't be core yet. No. Just gonna deal with you. That's good. You're good. Everything's good. We have diplomats. Let's see here. Do we have a diplomat that I can put? That's as fast as we're going. We're using one point a month. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm actually okay with just, like, draining out one point a month to do that. Not the easiest thing or the best thing, but it'll work. No. 
At the moment, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Oriot is currently s occupied by Muscovy. How? Unless I killed the rebels? Or you are Oriot now. Oh, okay. Let's gain the extra power. That's cool. We'll get three pieces of territory from you. Okay. That is fine with me. We are shrinking Yarkin significantly, which is well worth it in my book. And this is increasing. Like, every time we... Um, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. Make everything core. We'll leave those things there, and we'll go back to converting. So, quick grab. A little bit of an ugly border there, but... Um, Coring is definitely happening, which should reduce our need to do this soon enough. Um, I'm trying to... I'm, I'm rooting out of corruption just to drop it down. And I think that's probably worth it at the moment, but... None of those missions are really going to work. Commonwealth, I'm trying to be nice to you. I will fight you, and I will win. That probably won't work, but... More of these. What is the Commonwealth's military? 22. So yeah, they're higher than we are. And they have quantity and offensive, so... Ooh. Pursuit of War of France, apparently. Um... We're going to hold off. Keep on coring. Get that up. We need to get this up as well. Any chances I can have to do that, that's a good thing. Coring needs to finish. That's creating a lot of the unrest. There's still a ton left to do, though. Okay. That's fine. Um, do I want to start... Hmm. There's a fort. Let's get rid of that fort. I could start the process of colonizing again, which may not be a bad choice. It costs us money, but expanding is manpower, manpower is win. I think it has to be the right answer, right? We might as well use the money that we're getting from the Ottomans well while we have the chance. <coughs> and as I said, I'm sorry about the coughing. So these two I need to get in on here. I'd like to give that to them and then attack the rest, but not until I core. I think the the answer has to be at least to, to stave off the crazy rebellions as to wait to I core. Um, those things give like no manpower. So they will give. I'm um, actually give the boyers more. I'm fine with that. Almost back to a page. It's always my favorite. Let's see here. Boyers. Manpower, recovery speed, and land maintenance modifier. All right. More cores. Uh, that's an awkward spot for them. Uh, let's see here. You come over here. Go over there. And one of you grab a leader. Not a problem to deal with them. Just an awkward spot. Annexation is going to take forever. Down to four cores we need, though, which means we can probably start thinking about the um, war over here. Let's do this. Get 
you guys to here maybe harsh life I lose some sailors because maybe is really what I care about here um, let's get you over there and you're moving over here that was bad timing um core convert you're almost done we got four all right that's fine not quite there yet so we've dealt with those rebels you can come back here you can go over here which means we've got what four more cores to do I want to wait to grab this and potentially grab, I don't know, Diplo? It's probably Diplo that matters the most. Constitutional Monarchy. It's not that exciting. Um, do I have a National Focus? I shouldn't. Good, I don't. Um, but it might be time to create one, probably in the military world, I think. Um, how's our corruption doing? Really good, actually. Let's keep on dropping this, then. I'm suddenly making 32 ducats, because the Ottomans just gave me 29. I, I suspect that won't last long. Um, that will last for five years. Okay. Greece. Greece is really going after us. I don't think we need to be too worried about it. Um, there is the military, which is what we were waiting for, which gives us new cav and new rebels, apparently. Um, cannons. Wing to SARS. I love Wing to SARS. It's one of the first achievements I went for. Um, let's get you up there. All of our, almost all of our cores are done. And then we have Buryat. And there's Tana. Over here. Um, I can raise that. Good. I can raise you. Let's just keep you guys relatively low for the moment. Alright, last core happened. We have five years where we can't actually integrate because of the diplomatic sabotage. So we should probably... Let's get a diplomat here building a spy network. I could grab an admin idea. I think instead we're going to wait for admin tech. We're very close to back to one page. Considering how much territory we grabbed, I'm actually kind of amazed how quickly that's going. Um, 370. So, I mean, we've gained, like, not enough. <laughs> Let's grab and build another heavy 18, just so that we have the... And we can build, like, two more after that if we really want to. Uh, we have a truce of Persia for seven more years. Um, I could make states... Okay, it's vaguely useful. Let's just go for it. I think it's more important to expand now than it is to do admin tech. Iraq will come in. That's fine. Confirm that. Um... Can I get you up here with a leader and skip you him there and we'll put you there and put you here. I'll try to roll over them. I don't need to call any allies, I don't think. So 
Let's do that for a second. We'll just siege all these and push them back. I'd rather be in support area. It turns out, actually, what I need to do is call them into this episode as where time is up. So, we've picked off Yarkin. We're going to go more Middle Easty now, and we'll see where we get. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.